So it's Keila. Um, I just wanted to jump on and uh, make a very quick video just because I haven't been able to make a YouTube video in like forever. So my signal around here isn't always the best um, for internet. So sometimes I struggle to post videos if I go late. I'm hoping to get to the point where I can do daily videos. Um, especially, you know, as I feel such a, a call and burden on my heart to be an encouragement to other moms. Um, being a mom is a hard job. It's a tough job, and a lot of people don't talk about it all that often, but it's a tough job, especially if you end up being a, like a stay-at-home mom or you're home most of the time. Obviously, being a working mom is insane, too, and, and I've done the, I've done both. Um, but I know being a stay-at-home mom, one of, the, one of the cons of it, I guess, is just feeling lonely and feeling like you're surrounded by littles all day and just how much you crave the attention and the, the conversation with another adult. Um, my lighting is very bright. There we go. Um, so I just wanted to jump on and say hey and let you guys know a few things, a few thoughts I have been having lately. Um, I, as I mentioned, I, I feel this giant burden or call in my heart to be an encouragement to other moms. Um, wherever they are in the world and whatever season of life that they're in I just um, I feel that that burden and so I've been thinking a lot lately about motherhood in general and the mission of it and how it is such a big big job and sometimes overwhelming and another thing that I that I've I've dealt with and I feel other moms out there deal with too is feeling not just lonely and isolated from people as you're so wrapped up and involved in your day-to-day -day taking care of your kids, taking care of your house, you know, just the whole entire job of being a mom, um, sometimes you feel lost. Sometimes you feel that you're not doing enough, especially, you know, being a Christian, being very involved in church my whole entire life and being involved in so many ministries and feeling like, you know, a big part of something. And then you take a step back, you have, uh, you get married, you have your kids, and then that becomes your entire, a lot of times to me personally, I felt like I'm not doing anything for the Lord, I'm not doing anything for um, the ministry anymore, because I'm so involved in the day-to-day -day care of my, of my girls. And so, I've been feeling the desire and the burden to write a, a little short ebook about that, about that topic, about, um... A mama's mission field is what I th I'm thinking I'm going to name it. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully Lord will hear me out here within this year sometime. I'm, I've been working on getting ideas together and then I'm going to start to write it and everything like that. And I'm just going to put it out there um, in order to hopefully be an encouragement and a blessing to other mamas who might ever... I'm just feeling like you're not doing enough or you're not, you're not enough now that your main mission or goal in life is raising your kids and taking care of your kids and that you're not involved in doing all the ministries of the church that you may have used to been so involved with so um I'm about to go check the mail it is a very very rainy day I don't know if you guys can see it's like a super rainy day so um and then we have the wedding renewal of the vows for my brother-in-law and sister-in-law this weekend um so we're all gonna be getting ready for that and excited for abuela the girl's grandma my husband's mommy is coming into town and and grandpa um abuelo and his brother Liuv and everybody so it's gonna be an exciting exciting weekend but it's supposed to be a lot of really bad rainy weather so hopefully um that doesn't cause too much too much craziness but we're very excited for this weekend, so I just wanted to pop on and say hey, let you guys know I haven't forgotten about you, that I do have some things in the in the works as far as um, ongoing projects, and that eventually, Lord willing, by God's grace, talking about those seasons of life, eventually one of these days I'm going to be able to do daily YouTube videos, which I feel would be really good because we'll be able to get to know each other better. I'll get to know y'all better. You guys will get to know me and my crazy girls and our, our beautiful little family a lot more, so... Um, we're just not there yet. I'm getting closer to being able to do that, but different seasons of life, you can do different things or you can't do different things, and that's a huge thing, just finding the balance and all that. So 
But I just wanted to say hey, let y'all know. I, I love you. I'm praying for you. I hope that you guys have a really, really good day, a good weekend, and I'll talk with you again soon. Um, if you like videos about encouragement for moms, homeschooling, the daily life of a crazy family with three little little girls running around, um, if you like those kinds of things, if you like um, Bible, kind of Bible lessons I've learned, just, just chats in general, um, some maybe do DIY stuff, just stick around, maybe, maybe just consider subscribing to my channel or, you know, at least like in the video and, um, that way we can stay in touch. If you subscribe and if you hit that little bell, um, then you'll, you'll see I, I go live or I post a video that way you won't miss anything, any of our updates. It's raining a lot harder now and I have to go out and get the, the mail. Thankfully, I have my umbrella, but um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye.